Our offer is built on experience and long-term planning. And this is where Mr. Trudeau and I are different. His experience leads him to believe he can vote for a $15 an hour federal minimum wage and then campaign against it. I believe that federally regulated workers deserve a raise and a living wage. Remember when Mr. Trudeau said that he opposed Bill C-51, but then he voted for it? The NDP voted against it, and the NDP will repeal it. Remember his long-standing principle of balancing the books. On July 19th, barely seven weeks ago, he was adamant about the importance of balancing the books. Well, what we are going to be the ones to ask Canada's wealthiest corporations to pay their fair share and balance the books. Justin Trudeau is going to run billions of dollars in deficits on the backs of our children and grandchildren. We won't do that. When we talk about sustainable development, we know that it means, a, first and foremost, reducing inequality between generations. And we're going to stick to that. That's our way in the NDP. We've got a proud tradition in that respect. On the other hand, we can ask ourselves, how can Canadians trust a person like Mr. Trudeau, who so easily abandons one principle for another? Justin Trudeau is making a lot of promises. He'll probably even make promises about youth jobs. I'll tell you right now, you can't trust him on either. The question that we're asking is, if Justin Trudeau can change so many of his long-standing and firmly held principles before Election Day, which ones will he abandon after Election Day? We are all learning that we can't trust him to do what he says and that he isn't up to the job. Coming from a family with 10 kids, I worked hard to find a first job and put myself through law school. And I'm grateful for the opportunities I had. Investing in opportunities for young Canadians will help families today and will pay dividends for Canada for decades to come. We have a concrete plan that's going to create over 40,000 opportunities so young people can obtain the advanced skills to start their careers. That's good news for young people. It's good news for small business, industry and NGOs. And it's good news for moms and dads who want to see their children succeed.